Every spring and fall, New Hope residents might see street sweepers coming down their street. We sweep more often than that in our priority areas, but our main street sweeping that happens each spring and fall is to get a lot of that debris off of our roads. So in the fall, we're talking about leaves, um, a lot of plant matter, organic material like that. And then in the spring, there is a little bit of leaves. We target to try and get some excess salt off the roadways as well. The goal is to keep debris out of lakes and streams and keep the levels of phosphorus down. Especially with our leaves and that organic matter, once that gets into a lake, uh, it kind of turns into a fertilizer almost for harmful algaes um, that can really impact that healthy native plant life. So too much leaves, too much of that debris means too much phosphorus in our lakes, which can really increase that harmful algae. Property owners play an important role. We normally ask residents to avoid street parking during the week of street sweeping for obvious reasons. If there are cars parked in the street, then we can't sweep there. We have to sweep around the vehicles. And then the more the residents can do to help out by cleaning their own curb lines certainly helps us. You know, our street sweeping contracts when we do our spring and fall are paid by the hour. So the less debris they have to remove, you know, the better deal that the city's going to get on our street sweeping program. And adding your own leaves to the street is a big no-no. Sometimes residents will try and sweep all of their leaves into the roads before the sweepers come by, um, which is definitely against our city code that's illegal. So we do drive around and try and hand out notations and citations for stuff like that. Look for notifications about when street sweeping is happening on your street via social media or the city's website, newhopemn.gov streets. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.